So hey guys, and today I'm going to show you how to make a GIF with two or more animations in it. So technically meaning um, two or more scenes in one GIF if you want a little scene. So basically what we're going to do is we should have two GIFs already pre-made and they should be roughly the same size. That would be really good. If you do not know how to make GIFs yet, um, I highly recommend that you look in the description box below. Go check that out. Um, it's just a tutorial on how to make a GIF that I made around a couple of months ago. So you can check that out right now. So with your two pre-made GIFs already made, or you can have more GIFs, um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to choose one of them. And we're going to go to Image. Canvas size and pop up should come up and change centimeters to pixels and we're going to actually lengthen the width. So let's say 450. Now, if you're like want to put more um, animations in a GIF, uh, you can obviously change the height as well to whatever you want it. So now we are going to choose one of the anchors. Now, this is a very important part of. Um, this animation process, you have to press this arrow or else um, your GIF will not work. Okay. So now we're just going to press OK. And you should have a longer width, which is great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch tabs or switch GIFs, whatever you call it. And we are going to press this little icon where the timeline is, should be near the timeline and we are going to select all frames, obviously I already have already so select all frames and copy frames and that's all you have to do and we're going to switch back to the next GIF so we are back to the GIF which has a longer width and what we're going to do is we are going to press the icon next to the timeline again we're going to select all frames so it's highlighted blue, all the frames. We're going to press that icon again, and we're going to paste frames. Now this pop-up should come up, and all you need to do is press paste over selection, and press OK. As you can see there, we have two GIFs, and let's play it, see what our GIF is going to look like. Sorry, it's a bit glitchy. My computer's a bit slow, but this is what it should look like. It would be good if they were roughly the same frames. It would be good if you had an equal amount of frames for each GIF. And that means, as you can see if I play it, um, one of the GIFs is a bit shorter than the other. So you, you can see that sort of checkered box. But that should be fine. So that is how to make um, two animations or more in a GIF. And basically from here on, um, you can edit the GIF, change the colorings, change the curves. What if you want to make it look better? But if you got if you struggled or if you got lost in a part, just comment below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.